name is Stephanie Hall, and I believe that 2017's Lego Batman is the best Batman movie ever. Now for some of you, that is an incorrect statement. You think that the best is Zack Snyder's or Tim Burton's, or maybe you're the one person who likes 1997's Batman and Robin. No matter your opinions, I will be proving you all wrong. But I am nothing, if not thorough. That is why I, and a couple of friends that I forced into this, will be watching every single movie, just to prove myself right. Anyway, there's 72 movies that I could find. Let's get started. Welcome back to our podcast. Uh, today we watched Batman, also known as Batman the Movie. Uh, it was released in 1966, and the movie was directed by Leslie H. Martinson. It was written by Lorenzo Simple Jr. and produced by William Dozer. The film stars Adam West, Burt Ward, Lee Merriweather, Cesar Romero, Burris Meredith, and Frank Gorshwin. Our audience tonight is Bela. Hello. Lillian. Hi. Quinn. Hello. And Orion. Hi. We also have Atticus, who is right now eating his food, so... He's actually moving his bowl to the He's getting food from his secret stash that he keeps. So... So, but let's get started into, a, we'll go into a little background and give our opinions on the movie that we just watched. So basically the plot of it, I'm going to be honest, I, tr- I don't know what the plot, of, it's basically, um. so basically in the movie, uh, four infamous Gotham villains, the Joker, the Riddler, the Penguin, and Catwoman all join forces together to k- kidnap this one man off of a boat, then vaporize nine world leaders they stole, they stole the guy because he had a famous new invention that he wanted to show off which I think was the the dehydrate the de- they then oh, yeah. they and then was... steal this invention they then dehydrate nine famous uh like world leaders from all over the world and then I guess are trying to ransom them off and it's up to Batman and Robin to stop them they're all roommates. Yeah. They are. I'll be this movie's like a good like hour and like forty five minutes and like I did not know where it was going half the time. It is an hour and forty five minutes and you know it. <laughs> because you are sitting there thinking and not like a bad way, like like I want it to end. It's more of a how is this still going on? Like so the, the dehydration enjoyed every second of it. It was great. I loved it. The dehydration plot took like surprisingly very little like time most of it was like catwoman in her disguise as like a russian reporter trying to seduce bruce wayne bruce wayne (laughs) also the use for the dehumidifier was to make instant whiskey which makes no sense yeah i don't get i'm gonna be there's that's that's really really funny funny. who wants dry dehumidifier whiskey college students college students wait i think it's (laughs) To evaporate all the water, so you can. I turns it into dust. So that you well, can just get drunk for alcohol left. So okay, oh. question: Does this mean that they are just dehydrating whiskey so they can just snort it up like cocaine? Or maybe it's for that like you know how so like for like astronaut ice cream, it's like all the food is just dehydrated. <laughs> for all our alcohol and astronauts, would there be anything left after it was dehydrated? Bring me well, my dehydrated whiskey so I can snort it. You have to essentially put water. So I guess it's like whiskey for on the go. Oh, it's like powdered milk. <laughs> oh, rehydrated. Um, I will like to say it. So this movie came out. The film, the film hit theaters two months after the last episode of the first season this of the was tel- in theaters. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it was in theaters. Uh. It includes most of the original TV cast, with the exception of Catwoman. Uh, there, in, with the Batman, like, 1960s, like, the TV show and movie, there were three different women that played Catwoman, I would point out. Uh, so, the three women that have played... So, in this movie, it was uh, Lee Merriweather, uh, and then in the first in the first two seasons of Bat- the Batman TV show, it was Julie Newmar, and in season three, it was Eartha Kitt, as I Catwoman. So three different women have played Catwoman. Did we get a word count on how many times I said bat? <laughs> no, I did go onto Twitter and I did live tweet some of our favorite theories of bat different bat words. Every single 
every single gosh darn object has bat in front of it. <laughs> yeah. They, um, they have a multitude of different aquatic animal bat repellent. <laughs> and also, <laughs> there were so many dead aquatic animals. There were a lot of dead animals. Because the penguin kept shoving TNT into different aquatic animals to blow up Batman. And, and then a porpoise sacrificed <laughs> itself off camera <laughs> to save Batman and Robin from a torpedo. I just. Wow. <laughs> I was about, I was just I'm sure it was like great for its time but watching this now with like there's this one scene where the rocket's like going past <laughs> going past the bat copter it's, and it's, it's uh, it looks like they just it oh my it's so and bad the men were rehydrated and you could see like the cardboard come yeah out like it was just yeah. one of them it was a still image and oh. it was like they just like it was like one shot you could see just a cutout of a man just standing there and then they moved the cutout and then there was a pile of dust <laughs> and i'm sure like if you were to watch this in the 60s and not have seen, like, obviously some great video editing, then you're probably like, oh my god, how'd they do that? Yeah. <laughs> this <laughs> is, this is one of my up. favorite kinds of movies where it's so good if you don't take it seriously. Mm -hmm. And that's, like, that's what the, those are the best Batmans, you know, where it's so bad. This was a nice balance from Batman and Robin, which was way too much, yeah. versus, what was it? Batman versus Mr. Freeze, which was last week. It was Sub-Zero. So, Sub-Zero, yes. Batman Sub-Zero, which did not have nearly enough going on. This had a good amount of just tomfoolery. Very yeah. heavy in every it was, way. It was, fun. Was, it was fun in a good way. I will say, I think this one... This is the first appearance of Shark Repellent, which of course makes another appearance later on in Lego Batman. There was also barracuda repellent, whale <laughs> repellent. No, not the whale. <laughs> and there were two others. Never... How how often do you have to run into aquatic creatures to need that much repellent? Also, it's shark. What was it? Bat spray shark repellent is like the full name of it. Is a full is uh -huh. a four part name. And Robin just dipped them into the ocean and then. Went backwards to give him yeah. the bat. Well, that that was, that was how they showed. That's how they showed Robin's an acrobat. Yeah, but it wasn't that that one scene. I feel like Robin was trying to kill him. Like just <laughs> yeah. trying to like. like spray him. Well, I mean, like, where else is Bruce Wayne's inheritance going to go? Alfred. The rest of his family? No, not Alfred. Alfred doesn't want that. <laughs> uh, you know what he wants. Do you think there's a bat spray bat repellent? <laughs> no, I don't think like, that was one of them that we didn't read. I mean, he has a bat villain inside of the comics. Yeah, he, there's man bat. Exactly. Man -bat. <laughs> All right, we need to talk more about man bat. I no, love don't. man yeah, bat. Yeah, this is this episode's about the movie, not man bat. Uh, so, so the movie, this movie was made to generate more, uh, you know, interest in the television series. Uh, William Dozer, who's the creator of Batman and of the Batman TV show, he proposed this movie uh, while also proposing, like, the show itself. And so the idea was, like, while the first se season was, like, rolling out, uh, they were going to release this movie to get more people to watch the first season. Yeah. See, I've never seen the original TV show, except maybe, like, clips and pieces. It's along this vibe. Uh, and as I said earlier, it does contain most of the, like, original cast from the TV show. But apparently, the it took the writer ten days to make the screenplay. I'm sorry, oh, that's ten days? that's short. I don't know this kind of stuff very well, but that's short, correct? You 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 know, usually it takes a you while. Don't write an entire movie in a little over a week, a it week and a weekend. I mean, ten days, and it was the most beautiful it was, writing I've ever mm -hmm. seen. If they are basing it off the TV show, the TV show has most of the stuff already written. Yeah, and they're also basing it off of comics, so it's not like it's an original idea coming from nowhere. I feel like most of the money that was going to go toward Robin went to making sure he had lip gloss on. <laughs> <laughs> and like, <laughs> concealer on his lips, but mm -hmm. lip gloss over it. So very like nine, or what was it? What is that? early 2000s teen <laughs> so so there's the scene in the movie where it's in the first part of the movie where Batman and Robin are in their bat copter and they're flying over over Gotham City and there's this one shot where you see a bunch <laughs> of women in bikinis on a helicopter pad and then one guy and the guy waves up at Robin and Robin waves back fun fact that was uh, Jack Henry Lalane 
who is an American fitness and nutrition guru and motivational speaker. Uh, and that was his, like, cameo. Oh, that's <laughs> so, weird. Which is, like, I, I mean, like, you know, like, with Marvel, they did, like, the Stan Lee cameos. But can you imagine if they did a Stan Lee cameo, but it was just him on the rooftop with a bunch of women in bikinis? In uh-huh. every other movie. <laughs> God, I love that man. It doesn't matter who's <laughs> acting him. I think I just love the Riddler in general. But his first set of riddles made no they sense. They were so... Okay. I don't Again, think they were supposed to make sense. A sparrow upside down with a machine gun? <laughs> I'm gonna... Okay. No, it was so. a sparrow in a tree with a with machine gun. The other one was a uh, gobble up. Uh, turkey turkey flying. Oh, that one, yeah. that one was pretty funny. Though. Yeah, that was pretty funny. <laughs> We know. That one, I could have made sense of, but this her one, is she good? The Riddler came on screen, and I was like, oh, I didn't realize he was in this movie. And then he was wearing a corset. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we realized. Loved it. Yeah, now, one point, you thought he had a crop top. I did. Because I, I, I looked over, I was like, that looks like skin. Mm-hmm. And that looks like a very tiny shirt. And then, when he completely changed outfits, that very slay outfit. Very uh-huh. yeah. He yeah. Had the black and green. He, he had some of the best okay, outfits. Of course, best. We need to get Jim. We need to watch the Jim Carrey ones then. Oh, and his pants mm-hmm. when they changed the ones that had a bunch of question marks on them. Mm-hmm. I feel I, speaking of like, I was thinking of like that. Literally everything in this movie is labeled, mm-hmm. and I, like there's like, <laughs> and usually has a question mark yeah. like right beside it. They yeah. all have separate shelves. Yeah, and, like the uh-huh. Riddler says riddles, and the Penguin has like Penguin fish food. On, yeah, uh-huh. Penguin food and fish. And then the Joker's just says jokes. Yeah, it's where it gets and all the those jokes. And doesn't have one. No, she has uh, a cat food box. An automatic <laughs> cat food feeder. When you talk about the cat, we do need to talk there about was, the cat. Yeah. So, so cute. throughout the movie, Catwoman has this uh, adorable little black cat that she like carries around and just oh. keeps in there. That everybody's and afraid of. Herself. The cat's name is Hecate. Yeah. Yes. Poor yeah. cat is traumatized. Yeah. The you could tell. Film. Like he had so just like scared. this wide eyed look of just like what what the heck's Still going on? Around. And then around. and then at the end, so Catwoman throws the cat onto Batman, and Batman <laughs> so catches good. the cat, proceeds to fight. Scared. Yeah. With the and then he just like puts the cat into a, a, like a lifeboat, and then says, "What does he say? Something about like float on voyage, pussy. voyage, pussy." <laughs> I mean, like I get the like realism, but it's also it's funny that there's a real cat that's like being used throughout, and then the mm-hmm. shark at the beginning that like bites <laughs> Batman. They the have CGI. Yeah. What were the other officers? When the cat. shark was pissing. Oh my god! Because yeah. there was a rubber shark and it had like a hole, I guess, in uh-huh. it, yeah. and they just waterlogged. Yeah, and Robin, there was just Robin or Batman just smacking the shark trying to make it get and off. And it wasn't again. very hard. It's just like. And when they were done mm-hmm. and it ragdolled into the ocean and, blew up, <laughs> and we were all like, what? what? We always thought it was like a big splash and then they're like, can't believe you blew up a shark. <laughs> we were like, they blew up a shark? And we were like, they're... And then they were like... Was trying to kill it and, oh, and, then they were, and then they were like, I can't believe this shark was shoved, had like TNT shoved inside of it and we're like, what? And then they <laughs> explained... two more times! <laughs> they explained why there was a shark later on at the buoy... Like they find the super powered class yeah. illusion maker thing. Yeah, they're like, there's a shark cage under here, which makes no sense. Yeah, that's crazy. How <laughs> that happened? They love making sense of everything, but it just doesn't make sense. The way they come to conclusions is wild. Wildly, it's like the whole movie's like an inside joke. That we don't know about. Like, and there's we probably never will get. There's parts where it's like they figure out stuff that you would have to literally be watching the movie to understand. Yeah. Like, they're like, I know the answer to this riddle. Obviously, it's a banana. It's a banana pin. It's like, how the hell do you get that? The riddle. The riddles for anyone that was wondering was, what does a turkey do when he flies upside down? And what weighs six ounces sits in the tree and is very dangerous. Yeah, the first like, one, the first one is like he gobbles down. Yeah, it's he gobbles, gobbles up. up, and then the second oh, one is a sparrow with a machine gun. Machine gun. Which feel? I mean, like, yeah, yeah. It's it's technically a correct things. answer, but the, oh, the oh, and they're supposed to be combined to be the word like cat or something no like it's that. it's yeah, it was like what eats no it's right? they're yeah, figuring it out what one. what gobbles up 
A and sparrow. Oh, a yeah, spar- what gobbles up a sparrow? It's like a dangerous. Cat. Yeah. Cat it was really weird. I don't know how they came to that conclusion. Birds. I think I... they just needed to get the plot moving. So they were like, how do we get it so absurd that they don't question how we got to this point? And the Riddler in this leaves all of his riddle- riddles in uh, Skyrocket. <laughs> Let's talk about the ending, because I'm thinking about it. So, in the movie, all these, like, nine government officials from all over the world, which I was actually very surprised that the one that was meant to be from Japan was actually a Japanese person and not a white person in yellow face. Especially in the 60s. Yeah. They did not use white face. Yeah, it was, yeah, like, they had actual, like, people of color. I was like, oh, wow. But then, so the villains, like, dehydrate them? And they're mm-hmm. turned into dust, and then Batman has the dust in all of these little jars, and then it gets knocked over, the dust gets mixed up, and so the ending is like this five minutes of this very intense moment of them trying to sort the dust uh, using one of their bat machines. So they like little white dresses. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Trying to but sort the dust. They keep their capes on, and they, they keep their utility belts over the dresses. <laughs> also... Yes. They were wearing like surgical masks, and Robin pulls his up over his nose, Batman but Batman does not. does not. Well, you also have to. I'm not not to defend like an someone not wearing a mask correctly, but like he did also have like a full cowl that you was covering his nose. You could put, you but, put the shit over. Okay, but imagine you're wearing a cowl and then you put a face mask on top of it. That's I have just, done that. The mask scares the germs away. <laughs> they can't. They can't mess with Batman. Batman is a conservative, uh, confirmed in and... this movie. However, I still love him. I love Adam West in this movie. So I much. Much. Adam, Adam West. West. Adam West does a lot of good things. We we're love forgetting them. about the best part, which is oh. what happens after they're rehydrated. Yeah, they're rehydrated, and it's realized. Oh shit, we didn't sort the dust well enough because some of them are. They start speaking each other's languages. Coolest car I've ever seen in my life. It was very cool. But, yeah, the Batmobile okay. is really But cool. here's the thing. So there's only two seats in the Batmobile that we can see. And there's a scene in which they have the penguin, like, knocked out. And you see that it's Robin and Batman. They're sitting in their usual seats. And then Robin gets out of the car. And now the penguin's sitting in Robin's seat. Meaning that Robin had to sit in the penguin's lap. Which and is very... Twice. Yeah, and that twice. Was, twice. That was confirmed later in the movie. As, like, we actually see him... Sitting, sitting on, on it. Yeah. Let's talk about the Bat Go Kart. I don't know what we're going to talk about, but I'm still thinking about it. Robin, Robin. Robin. No, it was the Bat Go Kart. I had a big arm. So they still call it the Bat So after, after the Penguin steals uh, Batman's car in a convoluted series of events, uh, they get in the Bat Cycle. The Bat Cycle. The Bat Cycle. And it has a little sidecar, and you're like, oh, that's cute. And then it's revealed that the cycle and the cart can split off of one another. And it just shoots Rob off <laughs> just to the, get on the helicopter. The sidecar is highly unsafe. Oh, no, yeah. Robin yeah. was highly Me. scared, and for part of it, he was linked all the way forward. <laughs> he he was for dear life. Off. No seatbelts. I doubt they had, like, good safety protocols for actors back then. They, they didn't. They didn't. This they wasn't, like, like the time of, stuff. I don't know much about the 60s. Bro, movies, Tom Cruise, walk, get out of the way. This shit was crazy. Did they have stuff? stunt actors, like, uh, widely used back then? Adam West did all the stunts. Of course he did. <laughs> Except when he was a body. Oh. Um, <laughs> uh, can we talk about how, like, extremely convenient some of their, like... <laughs> Like the anti ping one gas pill yeah. that Batman just happened to have at that the time. That only Robin took. That yeah. only Robin took. Without so, question. This mm-hmm. brings me into right. what my theory is, which is all of the, these villains don't come up with new things. It's much kind of like a trial and error for Batman and Robin. Like, oh, we got spoofed, and now we have to come up with something to combat this again. Mm-hmm. I'd like to talk about how they run. Yeah, <laughs> it is a treat to watch the run. Well, here's the thing. So, like in a lot of Batman movies that we'll watch later, that like have came out in the past few years, they're wearing Batman's wearing like boots and stuff like that. In this, Robin was basically they're wearing, wearing slippers. Yeah, yeah, Robin was wearing elf shoes. Let's. <laughs> yeah. They had wings on the side. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, so like hard. I, you know, those shoes aren't have any grip. Yeah, and also like I imagine it was probably they had to make sure the shoes stayed on. <laughs> so I can't. 
<laughs> when he that's was running choice. with the Yeah, I don't have any. <laughs> the bomb scene? It's the most iconic scene, I think, ever. Oh, the bomb scene. Yeah. Why was there so many nuns? Why was there so many women with babies? And why were there so many bands that yes. only played? And couples and boats. It reminds me of older comedy, you know? like Well, it is old. 66. No, I mean, like, before Slash the comedy. 60s, like... 20s and 30s. Well, it's stupid. He was like, some days you just can't get rid of a bomb. Yeah. <laughs> it was very, I don't want to say it's slapsticky, but it seemed, that's the word that's coming to mind. It was yeah. so funny. When the goon got launched <laughs> from the Jack in a Box spring yeah. trap, and he just. <laughs> the rag doll. Perfect art, and he doesn't bend anything you know into was... the exploding octopus. Oh yeah, yes, another <laughs> animal explodes. I want I want more Batman movies to be like this because it's like it's can't be enough. It's so it's not as like weird and like trying too hard as like Batman and Robin, but it's like it's not as dark as most Batman movies nowadays. Show me Paul Dano and <laughs> Robert Patterson. Good God. It, having this kind of dynamic. I would love that so much. I will say, I realized, so I thought that this was the movie that had a, a scene where Batman and Joker have a surfing competition. <laughs> I was wrong. I think that's from the show. Uh, I thought there were two movies with Adam West. Uh, Adam West also plays Catman in Fair Enough. I yes. was talking about that earlier. Uh, there's no, like, there wasn't a film, well, like a... There wasn't like a sequel film that they made or like another film they made based off of the TV show uh, during the 60s, I'll say. Uh, there was like a cartoon version of the show where they used the same like actors, but there was a car- animated show. Okay, so Batman Return of the Caped Crusaders, it is like an animated superhero film, but it's like meant to basically be the 1960s. Uh, but it does use Adam West and Boot Wolf. Burt Ward, who plays Robin. So it's it's weird, so it's basically a sequel, but it's animated. I don't I think the, I think the point of this movie was it was talking is talking about like the Cold War, because Catwoman does play like a Russian <laughs> Cold War. A Russian with a really long name. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but you I don't remember what it was. It was Kit Kat, and he's That's like, we should Cool and then they like dream fucked. Also, yeah. also she yeah, keeps also, that also that she keeps one. calling him comrade, which I feels that. weird. That's mm-hmm. well, it's weird now, but it was was, that was normal in the sixties or what? What they happened. perceived as Russians. Yeah. Yeah. What we, we thought about the dream fucking war. Yeah, I think mean, we need to like address that. Yeah, that they were just like shit. they were in a go- in like a little like horse and buggy. And, like, they had their heads next to each other, and she was like, I'm dreaming about, like, the people on the steps completing their missions. And I'm like, okay, in Moscow. And then she was telling him to go slower, because he said he was almost there. And I was just like, <laughs> it really weirded me out. Did you know what they were doing Absolutely. during that entire time? Absolutely. Yeah, and the makeup, when they kissed, why did they look like that? Mm-hmm. She kept putting her lips on his chin. And no his mouth is just kind of like open the whole time. Which he did not look like. My he, point. He is a gay man. He did not covered. look like he enjoyed the joined no. the kid. Like it looked he like he was scared being. Scared most of and the then time. we got dog piled by a bunch of men. He was, <laughs> he was Pure <laughs> ecstasy. I will say, whenever it looked very much like there's this like one SNL skit where it's like meant to be like gay man and a like lesbian they're like pre- both pretending to be like straight oh, and they're yeah. like I love my husband and then they kiss and it's like it, that's what they looked like essentially I thought that was a TikTok sketch <laughs> no it's SNL that's even funnier okay right. speaking of sailors they say yo ho a lot they say yeah. yo ho really like it. just like it, like to respond to like oh hey do this thing yo ho we're gonna start doing that also when they and do they something do. really good they're also like yo ho Yo ho ho. And I think on that note, we're going to end the podcast here. Yeah. Thank you so much for listening uh, to this week's episode. Next week, catch us in two weeks where we will listen to another, we will watch another Batman movie and talk about it. Check us out on Instagram at the best Batman. Check us out on Twitter at, it's basically our initials. Yeah. It's L B I T B B A H W, all capital letters. I can't wait for no one to find that. (laughs) It's, if you can't find it, we're disappointed in you. You just have to type in the best Batman on Twitter and you'll oh, find it. Anyway, thank you so much for listening. I'm Stephanie. This is Bela Close. 
I'm Lillian. I'm Quinn. I'm O'Brien. <laughs> and we will see you next time. Go Thank you for listening to Lego Batman is the Best Batman and Here's Why. Editing is done by Stephanie Hall. Featured music is Shady Business by David Rinda. Sound effects are from Pixabay. To listen to more episodes, you may check us out on Spotify. New episodes are uploaded every other Friday. Check us out on Instagram at The Best Batman or on Twitter at L-B-I-T-B-B-A-H-W or just search up The Best Batman on Twitter. For more information, you can check us out online at smhall02.wixsite.com slash thebestbatmanpodcast. Thank you so much for listening, and we'll see you next time.